Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this um, as quickly as possible. I only have a one page layout for um, February since I'm doing my Project Life monthly and um, so this is all I have. So I am trying to think. Um, I guess since this one is very easy. Um, I just pulled out my it's the sorry let me see if I can grab it February kit um, Cirque I think it's like supposed to be like circus themed or whatever for February studio calico and that is the one that I'm going to use so um, anyways I have like no photos really at all for um, February I'm pretty sure that that was the month that a lot of my family was sick. Um, I do know that my husband and I celebrated our anniversary in February. Um, and then we had Valentine's Day. I don't really think we did anything. I can't even remember. I think we might have gone out to eat, but that was it. So that's it. All I'm going to do for that card here. Now this is a photo of the food that we had put out for the Super Bowl, which was the beginning of February. So that's why I'm putting it up here. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut it down just a little bit so that it will fit on that card just a little bit better. Um, I just decided to try to do this in real time since um, there's really just not a lot to it. Let me see, I think that's probably, probably good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this card here. Um, so I only had like three different, I think I wanna cut that down just a little bit more. Um, three different um, photo sessions or whatever, three different events that I am putting on here. It's not really that much. So February, and that's fine. You know, I'm just trying to um, document a few small things that I want to um, try and remember. I did a lot of um, Project Life last year. I did the, uh, you know, I'm wondering if maybe I want paper behind that. Okay, let me grab a piece of paper with some teal in it or something. Okay, so I just picked out this star paper from one of my 6 by 6 um, paper pads and I already measured and it's two and a quarter by five and three quarters. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, I don't know what five and three quarters. Oh, how about I do two and a quarter? I'll do it this way. And then um, I know that this is a six by six. So if I just cut off, if I do this, that should be three and a quarter or three quarters right there. That should be about right. It's close enough, I think. So I'm just gonna cover this white space here. And it's not good enough, but let me see here. What I can do, there's the photo, is um, kind of separate it, split it in the middle and kind of pull it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half. It does not have to be nice and straight because it's going to be hidden. Whoops. So I'm going to put one little piece over here. I'm going to leave a slight white border because there was, um, I was a little off on that part as well. That's fine. Oops. So I'm finally getting on to February's um, Project Life. I'm a little bit behind, not bad, not that worried about it. Because I'm only doing monthly, it's going to be so easy for me to catch up. And I couldn't find my, um, oops, let me put this up just a little bit more. I couldn't find my um, Scraptastic. Okay, so I don't know where I left off. Um, this was just a photo of our snacks from the Super Bowl party. And so I just wanted to spell out Super Bowl. I'm hoping that these letters will fit. And I know that I'm going to be doing white on white. What I'm going to do is um, outline it with just a Sharpie pen just to kind of keep it, um, I don't know, 
um, a little bit more kind of sketchy feel to it. So you're probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing until I am done. Let me see here. I'm hoping it'll fit. Let me see. I love these letters that were given to us in the, the Studio Calico kit. These are really nice letters. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the video because I like to mess around a lot with my letters. I tend to make mistakes, but I'll come back before I start outlining so that you can watch that. Okay, so I couldn't fit it all, and I already started outlining just because I wanted to see kind of how it looked. Um, I figured if it didn't work out, what I would just do in that, in that instance is just put a piece of paper over it and start over. Um, but it seems to be working fine, so um, I kind of wish that I had a better fine liner. I just have a fine Sharpie. Um, I just overlapped the letters. Oops. A little bit harder to do now that I'm not so close, but it's working. Okay, so um, while well, I have my pen out, all I did was outline the Super Bowl, and then it has like a checklist. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Down here, it says epic, awesome, squee. <laughs> it's, I'm assuming it's like yay. Um, wonderful, memorable, pretty good, not bad, meh. Um, need a do-over and don't ask. So I'm going to um, mark the need a do-over because I am um, I was rooting for the Seahawks and um, if you I'm sure most of you know that it did not turn out well for the um, Seahawks but it was still pretty good um, I mean the fact that they made it so that's definitely a good thing. I'm gonna put memorable because it definitely was memorable um, so I'm going to put memorable, need to do over, and don't ask. Um, so those are what I decided to mark on those. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this one plain. This is just a photo of my daughter, um, uh, in the gym during wrestling. She just had her, you know, wrestling uniform on and everything and was between meets or between her, um, matches. And then I put the, you are perfect. Um, I just really liked the card, the way that it looked and what it's talking about here. Here's a really silly photo of her. She's got her little um, cap on so that her hair and doesn't get pulled and her ears are fine. And then um, for today's adventure, I wanted to put um, during her tournament some information about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I want to put something underneath this here. I don't know necessarily... I think I just wanted to cover that. I think I'm just going to put this. Um, I think maybe, yeah, that's probably good. Maybe I'll just, um, I'm going to um, flag this or banner, make it into a banner. Get my scissors. I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper that I had left over from um, filling that back end there. So I just got back from Vegas, so I'm going to be um, scrapbooking some Vegas photos, I'm sure, this weekend. I really didn't take as many photos as I thought I would. I'm really, really disappointed in myself for that. But um, I had a really good time with some friends, and I have some stories. I didn't do everything that I had planned to do. But we had a great time. We did do a lot of the things that I was afraid we might not be able to do. So one of the things that I didn't get to do, I was really, really bummed about. But I'll get into that when I um, get a little bit closer. I think I'm going to get an enamel dot or something. Here. Oh, no, I have sequins. I'll put the sequins on there. Which ones do I want? Let's see here. I think I'm going to put the stars. I don't know how to open this without like, well, I guess I got to cut into the whole thing, don't I? Okay, well, I guess I will cut into this. And then um, I'll have to put those away. 
That's kind of cool. I didn't even mean to really do that with the stars. Um, so we got hearts and stars. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one right here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it on top of the heart. One right there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then um, I'm going to write about that, but I need some more information from her. And then um, it's all right in there. And then this, okay, so this was my first event was the Super Bowl. My second event was going to my daughter's, whoops, my fingers. I still have some glue on there. Okay, my second event was going to my daughter's match. And then this wasn't really an event. Um, I just, my daughter, <laughs> my youngest daughter um, went up and laid down with her dad. And it was just really, really kind of cute and sweet. And so, um I just took a photo because she just laid right down and went right to sleep. And so I just wanted to put this little, um, I really like this. It's really cute. It's like a little plastic piece that says love. So I'm just going to put that straight on the photo. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these little gold um, hearts down here as well. Just straight on the photo. I don't mind um, putting things right on the photo because I can always reprint them if I don't like it or, you know, but it seems to work out. Okay, so, you know, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I want to go ahead and add, oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to stamp on this. My daughter, my oldest daughter, <laughs> is really into um, foxes and like nature and things. And so I thought that this would be perfect to put the foxy because you know she's looking just so foxy in that photo <laughs> so I just wanted to do that just you know kind of more for laughs because she was purposely making a funny face so I'm gonna do that and I already tested the stamp to make sure that it was working well make sure that it was um, a solid image so I'm really hoping because I'd already cleaned it off I'm really really hoping that it will work okay let me move all of this out of the way I always get so nervous stamping on something that I really don't want to mess up because I mess up my stamping so often okay Woo! it worked okay so I actually need to clean my stamp Okay, so I had to get a baby wipe. So I like to get my stamps cleaned and put away right away because I don't like to lose my little clear images. I've done that before. And so I did learn my lesson and I do get them put away. Um, yeah, so I'm not fully done stamping and of course I'm still nervous. Um, I gotta make sure I'm putting it on not upside down. Keep trying, okay. So. Here I go. I guess if I messed it up, I could always put a piece of paper over it. I think I want, I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, turn out for me. Oh, yay, okay. Woo, I can breathe. Um, okay, so that is pretty much going to be it. I'm just gonna put that, um, she got one pin and then she lost two, which was great that, you know, she made it as far as she did. Um, and she did as well as she did. This was her senior year. Um, she had never done wrestling before and, you know, she just really, really enjoyed it and really did a great job. So, um, I just wanted to make sure and document about that. Okay, so um, my information is going to go there. And then this one's just going to stay the way it is, I think. Let me make sure I don't want to put... Oh, I did want to put some of these sequins just because I have them. So I have these gold sequins. And then I'll just have to get them put away so I don't lose them all. Okay, so um, let's see. I think I'll put... One right there. I think that looks good. Um, do I? I don't think I want to put anything on that card at all. I think I'll just put like maybe 
Um, I don't want to put one down there. Um, I don't want to put one there either. Okay, so I'll just put a couple up here. I thought there was different sizes. Maybe there's not different sizes. I think that looks just fine. Let's see. Yeah. Um... I know it's so simple and it should just glue it down. I don't know why I think so much. Sometimes I just, I mean, even though it's sequins and they're supposed to be kind of random to me, they're just not random. I just, they have to have their place. And so I do mess around. There has been a few times where I'll just kind of throw them down and glue them, but I like them to be kind of, um, what the best word be for that? Um, just kind of scattered where I want them, though. I want them to look like they were just effortlessly thrown down. But, and that one doesn't want to come off my finger. Okay, so that is it. Okay, well, um, and I will be back hopefully this weekend. I do have to work today, um, but I do have a weekend of crafting after today. So um, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.